Welcome to Grace Camo and Lace. Say grace, get my gun, be gone before dawn. Take aim and set my sights on high. Great to go to hunt each day. His son and his family of mine. Blaze a tray I never thought you'd find. Leave a legacy behind. Pass it down the blood. My biggest bug. <laughs> Grace Camel and Lace is brought to you by Gearhead Archery, Ohio River Scenic Byway, Dunn Sporting Goods, Auto Trim Mart, McKinney's Western Store, Back 40, Rick's Enterprises, Glass Doctor, Covert Scouting Cameras, Scent Crusher, Scott Releases, Thompson Center, Montana Decoys, Wasp Archery, DSG Outerwear, we're glad you're with us. Last week, Adriana got a big bull out in New Mexico, and this week it's my turn. We're still at Elk Guide's Big Game Hunting Service. We love coming out this time of year because we always see a lot of game. This year we don't have a mule deer tag, but it looks like somebody will be having a good year. We're starting this hunt out with an early morning spot and stock. We're in a good spot. We're in a location where we can see for a long ways, and we're going to go ahead and throw some calls out and we're hoping to get a response so we can make a move. We've got a bull located. We're going to get set up and keep calling. Hopefully he'll come within bow range. This morning we're hunting with Armando. He's going to stay behind and do the calling while I'm out in front with my bow. The idea of this is that he's going to be back behind to pull the elk right beside me within bow range. That worked out perfectly. I was just wishing that it was a bigger bull. It's still early in the season, so we're going to keep trying. We started to head up the mountain, and we've got a bull coming our way. 
We're going to use the same game plan. This bull came into 30 yards and started raking the trees, but we can hear a bigger bull behind him. I can't believe that this bull just bedded down right in front of me. As the bigger bull got closer, the little bull stood up and started rubbing trees again. Don't go anywhere, more of my hunt will be after the break. Whether you're looking for that giant muley, monster antelope, majestic elk, regal moose, spectacular mountain lion, magnificent black bear, QRS is your one-stop shop for all your big game needs. QRS provides its clients the highest quality hunting experience complete with premier lodging, western home cooked meals, fishing opportunities, along with the most beautiful scenes you could ever dream of photographing. Check out QRSoutdoors.com to learn more and book your next adventure today. Grace Camel and Lace is brought to you by Gearhead Archery, Ohio River Scenic Byway, McKinney's Western Store, Rick's Enterprises, Auto Trim Mart, Back 40, Glass Doctor, Covert Scouting Cameras, Dunn Sporting Goods, Scent Crusher, Thompson Center, Scott Releases, Montana Decoys, Wasp Archer, DSG Outerwear, Allie, you got so close, that bull stayed right out of sight, and he ended up taking the little bull up the mountain with him. Glassing across these mountains in New Mexico reminds me of one of my most rewarding hunts that took place right in the same area back when I was 13 years old. That hunt immediately started out exciting. Just at daybreak, I got to see my first black bear. Shortly after that, we got on our first pool today.
He had a bull come within 40 yards of us and he was perfectly broadside. I decided to pass on him because just the day before we'd seen a much bigger one. I've still got a couple days to hunt so I'm holding out. We've heard a good one bugling, we know he's bedded down for the day. We're at a good vantage point, so we're going to wait him out until he gets up and hopefully we can get some eyes on him. We've been sitting here waiting on this bull to get up and now we've heard him bugle and we've seen him now, so now we're going to get after him and see if we can get him. We've heard this bull bugling all day. We've finally laid eyes on him and he's a monster. Now we've just got to get close enough for a shot. We finally made it to where we last saw him, but it started raining again. The light's fading, so it's now or never. We've got to get this bull. I'm finally within range of this bull, but every time he stops, I don't have a clear shot. Finally got him to stop, and all I have is a neck shot. You have run your butt off to get this bull. Yeah, hold on that thing, you know. He is laid out wide. <laughs> this is my granddaughter. <laughs> okay. Here we are in New Mexico on a youth hunt, and this is three generations in here. It's my dad, and my little girl, Allie. And she got her a whopper now. And I just about come to tears, old old kiddo. May still do it. <laughs> he is a dandy now. Man, you look how big them things are. We gonna bring you a little sissy out here. Yep, next Adrian year. will be coming next, mommy. Allie, that was a super bull and you really deserved it. You left camp at 4 o'clock that morning, hunted all day long, and didn't get back to camp until 3 o'clock the next morning. That really makes for a tough hunt, especially for a 13-year-old girl. Thanks, Adriana. It was a tough hunt, but that made it even more memorable, especially since I got to spend it with Dad and our papa. Don't go anywhere. Grace Kim on Lace will be right back. I will outwork him. I will outthink him. I will do everything to prepare for him. But if he smells me, I know I won't beat him. Scent Crusher uses ozone to eliminate the bacteria that produces odor, making me scent free. With scent off, it's game on. Established in a small town in Kentucky in 1981, a company that produces quality products that archers have come to rely on. I started shooting with a Scott release and have passed the tradition on. My dad always told me, never forget where you came from. Well, <laughs> I haven't. Shoot with confidence. Shoot a Scott. I shoot the T24 by Gearhead Archery because it's accurate. I shoot it because it's fast. 
I like it because it's accurate. I like it because it's short. Because it's accurate. Because it's quiet. It's accurate. It's durable. It's accurate. It's made in the U.S. It is very accurate. Okay, we get it. It's accurate. Welcome to this week's segment of By the Byway. We'll be traveling to Fort Massac State Park in Metropolis, Illinois, which is also home of Superman. Fort Massac State Park is Illinois' first state park. The main attraction to the park is the 1802 replica fort. The footprints of the original fort lies adjacent to the George Rogers Clark statue, and the 1802 fort lies just east of this area. The popular Fort Massac encampment is scheduled on the third weekend of October each year. Historical reenactors and skilled craftspeople representing French, British, and Americans gather at the encampment to demonstrate the skills and lifestyles of early residents in this area. Through the efforts of the Daughters of the American Revolution, 24 acres were dedicated on November 5, 1908. Today, the park encompasses 1,450 acres. The history of Fort Massac begins with Native Americans who took advantage of the site because of its strategic location on the river with a view upstream for several miles. Legend has it, as early as 1540, the Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto and his soldiers constructed a primitive fortification here to defend themselves from Native attack. Officially, the fort has flown under three flags. Fort Massac was built by the French in 1757 during the French and Indian War. Following the end of the French and Indian War in 1763, the French abandoned the fort and a band of Chickasaw burned it to the ground. The French then claimed possession but never rebuilt the fort. In 1794, during the Northwest Indian War, President George Washington ordered the fort rebuilt and for the next 20 years it protected U.S. military and commercial interests in the Ohio Valley. We hope you enjoyed this week's segment of By the Byway. We're back to Allie's archery elk hunt. This encounter shows that staying motionless and having good camo can really get you close to the elk. Allie, on this next hunt, you're after an absolute giant. It's just me and Dad on this hunt, but this bull isn't in a good place to try to call in, so we're just trying to keep up with him until we can get the wind in our favor, and then we'll get set up to call. Everything finally got right, and now we're set up to call him in.
You've got this bull at 60 yards. I hope you can close the deal. Stay with us to see what happens after the break. For those with an insatiable desire to pursue all Mother Nature has to offer, Thompson Center delivers the ultimate in versatility with the interchangeable TC Encore Pro Hunter, giving shooters over 50 configurations including handgun, rifle, shotgun, and muzzle loader. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. The all new Universal Fit Lighted Knox from Nocturnal, designed to fit most arrows. This system eliminates the need to choose different knock sizes, select the correct bushing, slide it into the arrow shaft, and insert the high visibility LED knock. Available in red, green, and red green strobing. Lightweight and durable, with the same bowstring activated linear switch you've come to know and trust. Nocturnal, switch on accuracy. From its original open layered foam design, the block has gone through many changes. Leading the field in archery target durability, the new block 6x6 now offers six-sided shooting, providing 33% more shooting surface than previous block targets. The block's polyfusion layered foam design and six target faces makes this new block likely the longest lasting archery target available today. Just try to wear one out. I shoot the T24 by Gearhead Archery because it's accurate. I shoot it because it's fast. I like it because it's accurate. I like it because it's short. Because it's accurate. Because it's quiet. It's accurate. It's durable. It's accurate. It's made in the US. It is very accurate. Okay, we get it. It's accurate. Grace Camo and Lace is brought to you by Gearhead Archery, Ohio River Scenic Byway, McKinney's Western Store, Rick's Enterprises, Auto Trim Mart, Back 40, Glass Doctor, Covert Scouting Cameras, Scent Crusher, Thompson Center, Scott Releases, Montana Decoys, Wasp Archery, DSG Outerwear, Closed captioning provided by Dunn Sporting Goods, outfitting the outdoorsman for over 50 years. We've got this bull at 60 yards. Dad's throwing some soft cow calls at him, hoping that we can get him just a little bit closer.
this bull heard a bugle in the distance, and he stopped in the perfectly wrong spot to bugle back. This bull's at 12 yards, he doesn't know I'm anywhere around, and all I need is one more step. I don't know how you could get any closer. You had a big bull coming into 12 yards. He went behind a bush and you came to full draw undetected. But then a bull bugled in the distance. He stopped to bugle back at him. And she didn't have any shot. She was holding back and holding back. But eventually she had to let down. And that's when the bull saw her and took off. Well, unfortunately, not every hunt ends with a kill, but we made some of the best memories and got some awesome footage. We recommend going on a hunt with Elk Guide's Big Game Hunting Services. Thank you for watching Grace Came on Lace, and be sure to tune in next week. We'll be hunting at home for whitetails with our bows. Check out Grace Camo and Lace on Facebook and Instagram. I get up and put my camel on. Lace up my boots, say Grace, get my gun, be gone before dawn. Take aim and set my sights on high.